Ashley. We're going to be doing a review, and today's review is going to be all about these Provocalypse from Rimmel, and these are new, and it is the new Rimmel 16-hour Provocalypse Kiss Proof Lip Color. I'll put however many colors they have in the whole collection somewhere right here or down below, but I picked up a total of four just because I really wanted to see the formulation of it. So today is going to be kind of like a swatch video and what I think of these. They do dry like completely matte, and then when you put the gloss over it, it does give like a really glossy finish, but then once the gloss wear off, it literally stays on the whole day. If you want to see the swatches of these Provocalypse, keep on watching, and I hope you enjoyed it and if you do give it a big old thumbs up and let me know down below what you want me to review next for y'all so until next time bye okay so the first color is called skinny dipping and it's number 700 and it's just a nude and it comes in with like a doe foot applicator like this just like a typical lip gloss So this is a really pretty nude, and this is something like Kim Kardashian would wear or something. I really like this color. If you want to go for like an all-over nude, but it's really good for like doing like a smoky eye and then popping this on for the lips. It'll look very, very smexy. Okay, the next color is this one right here, and it is number 730, Make Your Move. And this is a nude color also, but it's more of a mauve nude. So this color is actually not a mauve nude like I thought it'd be. It's like a nude, but it's more of a pinky corally nude. And I do really like this color. I think if you're more fair or porcelain, I, I honestly think it would suit you guys more than if you were like a little bit darker than me or darker. And need I mention, this one has glitter in it. I didn't notice it once I like when I swatched it on, but once I applied it on my lip and then Taking it off, I can see like little specks of glitter on it, so I don't know if that's just mine or what's up, but it does have glitter in it, so keep in mind that Make Your Move does have a little glitter in it. Okay, the next color is 500 Kiss Me You Fool, <laughs> and this to me, it's like a hot pink, but red base hot pink, but let's see how this color looks on. I personally haven't tried this color yet since I bought it. So hopefully it's not too crazy or it doesn't unflatter me. I personally don't like this on me. I think it's, I don't know, it's that really corally red. And it's something that I couldn't just like slap on and go. I would have to really clean it up. I just put it really messily. Is that even a word? Okay, and I actually picked up five. I don't know why I said four, but I found another one. And it's this one right here. And this is a very mauve-y, purple-y color. And this is numero... 230 Kiss Fatal or Kiss Fatal and I hear that this is like a lot of people's favorite so I haven't personally tried this I just kind of like bought it and kind of stashed it away Last but not least is this one and this is the all Time Hollywood red color this is number 550 play with fire so I like red so I think I like this one if it's like a really blue tone red so let's go ahead and swatch this So finally, we are done with all the five swatches. I know I said four earlier, but I found this one chilling where all my new lippies are. And I heard that this one is like 
everybody's favorites, so I wanted to personally try it to see I like it. I do love the color. I love that it's that very, not too vampy purple, but it's that purpley, mauvey. It's just that perfect, like, if you want to wear it out. Okay, so now to the review portion of it. My favorite one, I would have to say, is this one, and it is skinny dipping. And this is perfect if you just want to go out with, like, your girls for dinner and go to a club or just go out for a nice dinner. This is great because it's going to last through dinner. It's going to last through all sipping on them drinks and all that. So I do love this. Um, my least favorite, I would have to say it is this one right here. This is Kiss Me You Fool because I didn't really like this because it does not flatter me at all. It, it's that really quarterly orangey red, so I didn't really like that as much personally on my skin tone, but if you like it, hey, make it work. Other than that, um, the pigmentation, I would have to say it is... 8 to 9 out of 10 because the pigmentation is there and they are super true to color. Like I could pick this up, put it on my lips and it looks exactly the same. Look is not deceiving when it comes to these lip products. So that's great. The formulation, personally on me, I I sound like such a Debbie Downer right now but I do not like it. I, I just don't like it. Like, I bought all these just for the hype. I went on a search for these for so long. It took me like a good three and a half weeks just to find these at any of my local Walgreens because they were always out because obviously they were new and after watching like It's Judy Time's review, I, I wanted it. She sold me. So the formulation of this I do not like and this is why because once I put it on and it dries and I put this on, like after like an hour or two, it kind of like seeps into like my fine lines and it doesn't look cute at all. Like I didn't really notice this. I was like, oh my god, my lips look so good. I would be like doing the kiss test and I'd be like, wow, this is amazing. I would go eat. And the first time I wore this, I had like Thai food. So I had like egg rolls and then I had curry and then I had some of like my fiance's like Patsy you and all that. And it stayed on like the whole time. So I loved it for that. But then, like, once I took a selfie and looked at it, I was like, um, that's not cute. In my selfie, you could, like, see the, see how, like, the color has seeped into my line, so I don't like that. I don't know if it's happening to any other girls out there. If it's not, let me know down below how I could, I guess, prevent that because every time I've used has done that and I do not like it at all so that's why I haven't used it ever. Um, another thing is that wearing the more pigmented one it's kind of hard to clean up for myself because even though I use a lip liner I'll put it on and I still like going in with like my foundation or concealer to clean it up and it's a little harder for that because it does not budge after you put it on and it dries and then you seal it it's going nowhere nowhere unless you take like an oil base to remove it and that's the only way it's gonna come off. So all in all, this is my honest opinion. And I tried wearing these a few times before I gave you guys like my full review on it because I didn't want to be like a, be a pessimism and just wear it once and be like, eh. I hate it. I don't want to wear it. So I wore these a couple times just to like really see if, you know, maybe it's just the first time. And I tried different methods too. Like I would put lip balm on. Okay, using lip balm, it does not go on good at all. I use my Aquaphor like to prep my lips while I'm doing eye makeup. And once I get to this, if you have like a more oily like lip balm under, these does not go on smoothly at all. So you want your like lips to be completely like clean. But girls, I gotta say, if you want something that's long lasting that's gonna last the whole night or like if you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be out and about all day but you want this lip color to stay, hey, give this a try. It's only like seven bucks so it's not gonna like break your bank or anything. So that is my full review on it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do like it, give it a big old thumbs up up if you have any colors and you do love it let me know down below or if you didn't like it and such stuff let me know down below i would love to hear from you and also let me know down below what you want me to review for you next or try out for you next i love trying new stuff and scoping them out is the best because i'd go into a store and be like do you guys have this do you guys have this do you guys have this and they'll be like um i don't think there's a such thing i'm like i know there's such thing because other people have seen it other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. It was so much fun to swatch these, even though my lips are 
hurting right now, it was worth it for you all. So, uh, thank you for taking time out of your normal daily life to come watch this video. And until next time, bye!